The appearance of armored vehicles on the battlefield had an immediate effect. Highly mobile and equipped with an impressive firepower, they struck terror into enemy troops. The first tanks were mechanically vulnerable and easy to put out of commission using conventional weapons. By World War II, tank design had outstripped anti-tank weapons. The best defense had become another tank. Later, short-range field guns were developed specifically to attack tanks. Personal defense weapons also appeared. Today's armies can count on a vast range of anti-tank weapons, including long-range missiles, which have an effective range of 3,000 meters and more. The medium-range launchers have an effective range of 500 to 2,000 meters. Short-range weapons are divided into three categories, heavy, medium, and light. Of these, only a heavy weapon like the Eryx can put a tank out of commission with a frontal shot. Medium weapons like the Carl Gustav and light ones like the M72 are considered support weapons. They make up part of the basic equipment of all infantry platoons. During this short video, you will become familiar with the characteristics and handling of the M72 A5 rocket launcher. The M72 rocket launcher is a new and improved version of the previous model. Thanks to modifications, the effective range of the weapon is now 220 meters. In addition, a new, simpler sighting system facilitates aiming in combat situations. The M72 is an anti-tank weapon designed for close combat situations. It's a compact weapon, reliable and ultra-light, which offers maximum destructive force for minimum bulk. A thorough knowledge of the weapon's features is essential in order to master its use. The M72 rocket launcher is composed of the following elements. The exterior tube. The interior tube. The firing mechanism. The trigger safety handle the rear sight assembly and the front sight assembly. The M72 is a single-use preloaded weapon. No manipulation of ammunition is required and you should never see its projectile. The sole ammunition provided for the M72 is the 66 millimeter explosive anti-tank rocket, the Heat. It's composed of four principal parts. An anti-armor warhead, an igniter, a rocket motor and stabilization fins. The M72 is preloaded at the factory and presents a danger in front and behind. Consequently, it's always considered loaded unless proved otherwise. Before each mission, rocket launchers must be meticulously checked and readied. Okay, before firing, you have to do your safety precaution. Okay, explain to me and do it at the same time. All right, first thing you check is the pin and rear cap. And you okay. check the top surface for any visible cracks. You check the safety device to make sure it is not armed. You check the front cap to ensure it is securely in place. You then turn the uh, weapon to the side and check for cracks on the, s on the side. And as well, same thing, check for cracks on the other side. Okay, great. Now your uh, weapon on your shoulder and move to uh, your forward position. Go, go, go. The M72 is an effective weapon against light armor and fortified positions. Its effective range is 220 meters with a penetration coefficient of 30 centimeters in armored steel.
The M72 is a powerful weapon and almost recoilless. It's important to keep the eye 8 to 10 centimeters from the rear sight. The M72 produces a serious back blast that can be dangerous for personnel or equipment in close proximity. This is why a safety zone must always be respected and kept clear. The back blast area covers 800 mils on each side of the tube over a range of up to 50 meters. In a combat situation, any hesitation can result in fatal consequences. In the heat of action, you must act rapidly, efficiently, and with great precision. The success of every mission depends on it. Buildings located to the right of the axis of advance, grid 239er-576. No enemy activity has been observed from my position. Mission, your call sign is to occupy this area by 09 hours. Execution, use the right flank for your approach. The rest of my call sign will cover you from the main axis. Acknowledge, over. 1104, roger. The M72 is a single-shot weapon operated by a sole operator. It is disposable and carried on a sling. Depending on the situation, more than one M72 can be carried. During a deployment, each team must quickly locate the optimum position, given the terrain and the situation. Like the C7, the rocket launcher can be fired from four basic positions. Each firing position must be mastered and memorized. This can only be perfected through careful observation and practice. The standing position can be adopted behind an elevated shelter, during rapid fire or from a trench. The kneeling position is highly effective against moving targets. The sitting position is effective in certain situations, like firing across inclined terrain. The prone position should only be adopted to engage stationary targets. It's difficult to hit a moving target from this position. Bye.
In combat situations, drills must often be executed rapidly. In spite of stress and urgency, safety measures must always be applied. Up to prone position. Okay. Stop. Okay. Look behind you. Look your angle. You get with uh, your position. Make sure you have a good position. Move it. Okay. Now you've got a good position. Now I want you to prepare the gun for firing. Okay, I want you to engage target number two. Go on. Stand by! Take your position. Okay, prepare your arm to fire. Stop. Okay, stop right there. Okay, that's not what we, we teach about. Okay, you have to okay. remove your gun in front of you and keep control of it. Okay, carry out. Good. Preparation and firing methods are the same for each position. All drills must be mastered by all members of the platoon. Prepare your weapon for fire. If number one decides not to fire, or if the order cease fire has been given, a rigorous procedure for shutting down the weapon must be followed. An M72 that has been prepared but not fired must be used before all intact weapons. Fire when you're ready. If the number one sees a target or receives the order to fire, he will proceed to evaluate the distance to aim and then fire. To fire a second rocket, a new launcher must be utilized. When every second counts, the ability to evaluate distance instinctively is a critical advantage. As candidates on a leadership course, you must already know that in a combat situation, you must react rapidly. This is why distance evaluation is extremely important. I will now ask each and every one of you to evaluate different distances. You'll be the first one to start, the others I'll ask you to move in the back. Three hundred meters. Next. Two hundred meters. One hundred meters. Next. The ability to evaluate distances must become automatic. It's a skill that each soldier must practice regularly. To obtain satisfactory performance from the M72 rocket launcher, 
It's essential to be fully familiar with the sighting system and to know how to use it with speed and precision. The M72 model comes with an integrated sighting system that incorporates a rear sight and a front sight. The rear sight of the M72 consists of a simple tubular eyepiece. It can be adjusted according to the distance of the target. The front sight consists of a series of three markers aligned vertically. The space that an armored vehicle occupies between the markers allows the evaluation of the distance between the target and the firer. Machine gunners, cover us! Sergeant! Team Bravo, check the vehicle! Find the distance between you and the target number four. Take your time, but don't forget, in combat situation, you have to be fast. Two hundred meters. Okay, that's good. Put that on your side now. Great. Return to zero. Okay, now I want you to find the the distance between you and the target number one. The M72 has a limited firing range compared to weapons like the Eryx, but it can produce significant damage to tanks and armored personnel carriers. When you have the choice, you must try to hit the vehicle from the flank and to aim at what? Private O'Neill. The center of mass, Sergeant. Excellent. In the case of this vehicle, that center of mass would be located just beneath the second vertical line. Also, remember the principle of mutual support. This is what increases your chances of hitting the target. This is extremely important. For the next practice, I'll give each group a room to defend with short-range anti-armor weapons. Of course, I'll give you a right arc of fire and a left arc of fire. For this room, the right arc of fire will be the main road. The left arc of fire will be the trail leading to the woods. Corporal Atfield and your group, you will be defending this room. The rest, follow me. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put two sandbags along the wall, all right? All right, this is excellent. The positions are well fortified, but don't forget this. You must always consider the degrees of the back blast area. Also, here you have a dead angle that does not allow you to cover your arcs of fire completely. So you must consider positions outside of this room, such as this one, for example, which could provide you with a good position. Never forget this. Ultra light and easy to handle, the M72 is extremely effective against field fortifications, blockhouses, and buildings. In attack, the M72 permits section members to enter buildings with little difficulty. The force of impact will open almost all doors, as well as contributing to the element of surprise. This is 1-1 Alpha. Set her up. Bra Alpha. 
One Ricky vehicle destroy. Para Bravo, no casualties. Para Charlie, nil. Para Delta, we support your advance. Over. In a combat situation, speed is critical. Each soldier must be able to rapidly execute drills that will put enemy targets out of commission and ensure the protection of troops. The M72 rocket launcher is a multi-purpose weapon that is efficient and easy to use. But like all weapons, it is essential to master its use and always observe appropriate safety precautions. Because of its destructive capability and portability, the M72 is an important component in the basic arsenal of all infantry platoons.